Cleric Ahmed Dokum's death provoked an outpouring of grief in the southern city of Aden. He's one of at least 25 clerics, preachers and religious scholars killed in the south of Yemen in just over two years, most of them in just the last six months. What is the crime? What is justification? We call on all of those who have a conscience to do something. No one has claimed responsibility for the killings. Twelve political parties have said they believe the killers targeted clerics who supported Yemen's exiled president Abid Rabu Mansour Hadi, and many reportedly had links to the Isla Party, the Yemeni branch of the Muslim Brotherhood, and Hadi's leading ally in the south. I think it's obvious that they're being targeted for their religious beliefs and quite possibly because they're linked, many of them, to the Islah party. Uh, it's not clear who's doing the targeting, although there are widely held beliefs on the ground that think it's being done by the UAE-backed forces. The killings focus attention on a new layer of complexity developing in Yemen's civil war. The Houthis control this area in the north, including the capital, Sana'a, and are supported by Iran. They're fighting forces loyal to exiled President Hadi, whose power base is here in the south and includes Aden. Al-Qaeda controls these areas in black. Three years ago, the Saudi-led coalition stepped in to back Hadi's forces, a coalition that includes the United Arab Emirates. From that time, the UAE has concentrated on growing its influence in the south, in large part by funding and training armed Yemeni groups, each with different agendas and which appear to be at odds with the Saudi-led coalition. One of them is the Shabwani elite forces. They're a mix of hardline groups and secessionists who want the south to break away from the rest of Yemen completely, something Saudi Arabia is opposed to. Another is the security belt forces in Aden. They've been openly fighting Hadi's forces, the very group the Saudi-led coalition stepped in to support. Their proxy forces don't necessarily want the same thing. And it's quite possible that the governments of UAE and Saudi are also after slightly different outcomes in Yemen, uh, at the level below containing Iranian influence. The killings have prompted dozens of religious leaders to abandon their mosques and seek refuge elsewhere. It's the latest twist in the three-year-long civil war which has killed thousands and threatened famine for millions of Yemenis. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.